Well, this is an instructional video on how to get the winch started, how to start the motor. So the first thing you need to do is um, flip this little red lever over here and that that's the on off switch for the ignition. So let me show you again where that was. Under, under the fuel tank, just to the right underneath. So flip that to on. Okay. So the from the viewpoint of the control panel, it's the control panel, um, the lever is going to be pushed to the left. Okay. Focus on that. There we go. Now, that's for the ignition. Now, for the fuel, we have a, over here on this side, we have an open and close for the fuel. And so that's this lever here, this gray lever. lever it goes down. Right now, it's in the Right now it's in the fuel closed position, which is where you want to where you want to leave it for um, when you're not using it. When you want to use it, you need to push this gray lever down, so it, it's vertical, just like that. And then here's the choke. You can see this is the sign for the choke. So the choke is this lever here, and you need to turn this lever. Right now the choke is open. You need to close the choke. So what we need to do is we need to start it and we need to turn the choke off. Okay, so one pull, we just start it, and turn open the choke, and then it just starts idling. Okay, so now we're here at idling. See, if you leave the choke on, it's going to idle rough, it's going to turn off. So we need to open the choke. Now it's just idling, and this is the throttle here. Adjustment, you, can, you can turn this knob, move this knob, and change, change the idle. Um, if it's not idling properly, then the first thing to do is check the glow plug. Make sure the glow plug is clean. Spark plug, sorry. Check the spark plug, make sure the spark plug is clean. Um, spark plug can be accessed from here, down here, so you can see the spark plug. You can see the spark plug wrench to get to it. I'm going to rev it to show you. So. Runs pretty, runs pretty smooth. There's a, this thing. This thing rattles a little bit. That's what makes most of that noise. And the hitch, the hitch thing's rattling around too. And it's loose. So that's why it's so noisy. And then you shut it down. Shut it down. Turn it off. Just flip the switch here. And that'll shut it down. And then when you're done, you want to close the fuel. Like this. And then, um, well, you can leave the choke open, but you'll have to remember to close the choke again when you want to restart it.